Hey everyone, I'm Monkey of Chaos, and this is my review slash impressions, what have you, of uh, Windbound. So let's start off with the good. Um, the game is absolutely gorgeous. Um, a lot of people have compared it to Breath of the Wild uh, with the art style, and yeah, it, that's how it looks, which is really what got me really excited for this game. I'm a huge Zelda fan, so I was really hoping that uh, this would you know deliver on maybe some of the uh, exploration and adventure of Breath of the Wild. Um, and the music, the music is also spot on. It it fits perfectly. It's kind of relaxing being out on the on the water and just having the music playing and sailing onto your next island. Unfortunately, that's really the extent of the good things I can say about this game. Um, so it's a kind of a mix of like exploration and survival. You have a, a HP bar and a stamina bar, and uh, as you go along, the stamina bar is slowly going to decrease from hunger, and you need to constantly keep eating to keep that. Uh, stamina topped off uh, which just gets kind of annoying it seems like you just need to eat almost too much and your stamina does not last very long you'd think you know you'd be able to swim for a little longer than maybe 30 40 seconds before you completely burn through that stamina bar but it burns down and then you're you wake up on the island and try again so typical survival stuff, you're you're running around, you're gathering, at first you're just gathering uh, grass and rocks uh, and berries, and then uh, you're going to craft your first grass boat, go to another island, maybe get some sticks, get some leaves, uh, be able to craft a bag to hold some more things, and then you, uh, you move on from there. However, there's two difficulties in this game, there's survivalist and there's storyteller. Um, storyteller reduces the difficulty of the combat, it reduces the survival elements, you don't need to eat as much. And if you die in a chapter, you start at the beginning of that chapter. Survivalist, um, so obviously there's more of a survival aspect to it. You need to eat more, gather more stuff. The big thing with survivalist is if you die, you are sent back to the beginning of chapter one. And the only items you have on you are the seven held item slots that you start with. So if you have a bag full of stuff, that's gone. Your boat gone just seven items start back at chapter one so you're three four hours in you die to say a random shark showing up and just eating your boat that's it back to the beginning just it doesn't seem to fit this game the gameplay is so slow and repetitive and just frankly boring that getting that far in and then dying and starting all over does not make you want to keep playing the game Game in total is probably somewhere in the seven to eight hour range. There have been people that have finished it as fast as five. And, you know, depending if you're searching every single island top to bottom, then you're probably going to get more towards the eight to ten. Uh, not much more than that, though. Uh, and the other big issue with the game is the gameplay loop. It's just boring and not uh, not interesting. Every uh, every archipelago, you are sailing around searching for three towers. You activate those three towers. And then you go through a portal that takes you to the next area where you are searching for towers, activating the towers, going through the portal, etc., etc. All the while crafting, making sure you have food, and then getting better tools, making your boat better, etc., etc. But that's it. You go, you find the towers, you go to the next zone over and over. So then if you die and have to start over, I mean, you're just, you're just doing the same thing. Over. There's nothing interesting about that. It's just... It's very boring. Combat is just not satisfying at all. It's very slow, very clunky. You uh, lock onto an enemy and then you're able to dodge roll without being locked on. You can't dodge roll, but while locked on, you also move very slow. So you want to find a balance between locking on, dodge rolling, and then unlocking so you can sprint and close the distance a little faster if an enemy gets too far away. Um, but it just, it doesn't feel good. It's slow, it's clunky, it is not enjoyable. It's just not great, and uh, it's just one more factor of this game that makes you kind of not really want to keep keep at it. So overall, kind of bummed. I was really looking forward to this game, uh, really hoping it was going to be more than what it turned out to be, and uh, I just can't recommend it. It's got an interesting shell. The, like the game looks nice with some work, it could play a little better but I, I don't see them making enough changes to this game to make it be something that I would be interested in picking up. All right, everyone, well, that's my thoughts on the game. Um, if you found this helpful at all, please uh, 
like and subscribe. Um, if you want to share your thoughts on the game, feel free to jump down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts on the game were. Maybe you liked it. Who knows? Uh, there's plenty of people that do like the game, so I'd be interested to hear some other comments and thoughts. And uh, I will see everyone next time.